hello guys, Stefan here, Weekend Warrior Shop. Today with a little video about what is the best paint for MagFed paintball. There's always the question in Germany or at Facebook groups, what is the best paint I can use for MagFed paintball? What is the best thing uh, that works for me um, the best? Yeah, and therefore let's talk about that. Stay tuned. Yeah, best paint for Magfed, I've told it in the intro. Uh, yeah, the, the guys in Germany often ask what is the best paint uh, for playing with Magfed guns. And yeah, we as we see here, I have here V2 magazine for the T15, also CF20 Max for the EMF 100. Both magazines are worked like every mag works with a spring inside and a follower who pushes the paint into the marker, into the gun. And there's the first problem. There's always pressure on the paints in the magazine. That's not good for the paint boards because they are um, not so hard and they can broke in your magazines. That is the first problem. So you can um, you turn this completely back, this uh, magazine, and let it stay in this position for one or two days, and then. The spring has not so much power as it has before and it will work smoother with paint pots. That's a nice trick for uh, using V2 magazines. I think with CF20 Max you don't need to do this. But this um, uh, this stops ball breaks in your magazine. But um, be uh, yeah, the warning is or you have to be... Um, oh fuck my English. Uh, you have to take a look. You need the pressure from the spring for shooting first strikes. So you have the problem when your um, uh, when your spring has to uh, less power. You will have problems by feeding with uh, playing first strikes. So uh, my colleague uh, Sebastian uh, Pleger, the one who makes uh, the tech things with the T15s on our at our playground, uh, he has two sets of springs from first strike. He has one set with full power for uh, using first strikes. When he's at the field and playing first strike rounds, he takes his 10 mags, open it all up and makes it a day before and changes the springs to the first strike springs and uh, the full power springs. And when he is on the playground to play with paint balls, with arm balls, uh, he uses the other springs so that there's not so much pressure on the springs. That is the first thing to avoid ball breaks in the magazines, a mag pla uh, yeah, magazine plaza, we call it in Germany, uh, ball breaks in your magazines. That's the first one. And the second one, I think, is um, switching mags. Not only play the, the day you are at the playground, you're filling up all your six magazines uh, in the morning and you always play the one in your gun. You play the, the two in front of your plate carrier and the third one on this point of the plate carrier you don't take because you're a right hand shooter and you always use this and this but not the one on the right side and so that's not so good and you have not two also on the belt and uh, at the after lunch time you use this magazines and oh fuck the paint won't shoot oh ball break oh fuck so always when you're filling up your magazine, switch down the old one, you use first the next one. So always first in, first out. Um, this way you have to use it. And yeah, that are the steps you can do to have a good experience, to have good, uh, have fun with playing paintballs. Also, um, as I heard in the video from Rory from ANS Gear, uh, ANS Gear, um, he says use use the uh, barrel system for uh, for your when you play paint because uh, so you will get the best out of the paint or you can you can uh, yeah you can get the best out of the paint you will get on the field because you are not into storing the paint the delivery the uh, the freight all of this the all the way to the field and the storage on the field. Uh, you are not in charge for this. You you can't um, you can't do anything. You you get the paint and it's the paint you get. And so if you have a, a barrel system, you always can switch the inserts so you have a good uh, accuracy with your paint pots. That's an important thing also, I think. 
And next step, and that's the main issue, I think, for the, it's a beginner's issue, as I think, uh, that there's one best paint in the world. We use Prosha, Prosha Skirmish, since 2012, I think 2012, 2014, um, uh, for our, at this time, for our tournament players on our playground, uh, as basic training paint uh, instead of GI one star or two star we used the Prosha skirmish that was nice so we had two two top brands Prosha and GI at this point we had uh, at this time three star from GI two star uh, skirmish and um, yeah and basic paint like uh, Tipman combat or one star and so th these three uh, three uh, brands were there and it, it were good uh, also and so, yeah, we use it since this time and we use this in all the time until now uh, with different inserts. You get different, um, yeah, the different charges uh, from paint and there are um, things like we used it with a 675, uh, 6.75 insert. We used it with a 682 with a 684 and uh, so on insert as it was always between 684 and 687 or 68, uh, 68, 684 to 675. So this one, small balls. So this is always different. They were always from the uh, from the flying. They were between good and very good, and uh, the breaking the. Um, the destiny um, was uh, uh, destiny. No, uh, the the breaking the balls were, were between really hard balls and really they were really um, brittleness. They were really uh, they broke really easily. Uh, so that were the points on the skirmish. So it's always different when they make a new uh, their product new. Uh, they produce new ones. They're a bit different to the last one, so it's always different. Next one we have on our playground at this moment and in our online store also, Die Tactical. I think it's relabeled from Die and they are, uh, the, the balls you will get uh, a long time ago. They are always between 684 uh, insert and 687, 689. They are often really hard. They have a hard shell. Um, but it still opens up, but it's a hard shell. Um, flight and accuracy, most time okay, but a harder shell, so uh, nice to play for guys with uh, um, with hard springs in the mags and uh, guns who won't work so easy, so, so smooth with these, gun, uh, with these uh, paints, yeah, they are also uh, okay. And the last one we use, Tomahawk Captain, uh, Tomahawk also a big player and paintball, uh, um, a big paint producer, as I think. Um, yeah, and they are, they are always um, breaking really good on the guys you shoot. They are always between six eight four, yeah, six eight four, six eight two maybe to six eight nine, and they have a really good precision. They all always fly between good and really good and yeah and they break on the uh, on your enemy and that's an important thing and i think in germany it's often so when you talk about boards uh, paint boards for mag fat they are oh i use this really hard shell oh no problems in my magazine oh really good really good yeah but you hit the guy you you aim you shoot you um you hit him the ball don't break and he plays on and you hit him again and he don't play any place on you hit him on the mask and he doesn't break uh, play on because the ball breaks but yeah, wh wh why do i need balls that are not breaking on the body and only breaking on the on the mask that's uh that's stupid stupid i think and yeah so you should always uh, try to use the most breakable paint balls um for your in your gun so that when you shoot at the ball breaks, the guy is out like a tournament paintball, and then you have good paintballs for MacFed. Good flying and good breaking on the guy. And maybe you have to try that your magazines work so in this way that you can use this uh, kind of paint. 
the, the best paint I've ever shot with my T15 was Pro Shot Tournament. Fucking Pro Shot Tournament. 682 uh, insert, really small balls, and it was it was with my old V2 V1 magazines and really old springs, but it worked and they were flying really straight. So if you can handle it that you can shoot tournament balls like this uh, with your Macfed gun, I think you're really good on the field and you're really you have some really good shots. Um, so yeah, maybe try it if it works. Uh, I can re recommend for this. Uh, High end paint, um, yeah. Also, tournament captain because they also break, but they are, yeah. Tournament paint is always, always a, a bit more breakable, and yeah, that was my opinion. And so my my two cents to the point: the best mag fat paint you won't get the one sort of paint which is the best. You have to put your gear, uh, bring it uh, to the way that you can shoot breakable. Uh, Paints that will break fast, so you get uh, better hits, so you get a better, uh, so you shoot more guys out. That is an important thing. And paint will always change, always. They will always change. That is a big part um, in the story, so that you won't have the the one that always works. We have here always um, paintballs from uh, big brands. They are um, really constant. They have always. Uh, they are in the in the same range of quality the, all all the time, and we have always the point that we are checking them always. Is it good? Is it uh, is it bad? And call our uh, distributor and say to him, "Oh, that's fuck. Give us a new one." And yeah, so you won't be you won't have this one Macfed the best paint in Macfed paintball. That that won't work. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned a bit. And yeah. Have a nice week and so on. Goodbye.